Greetings from Brazil. I am speaking to you from Leblon Beach in Rio de Janeiro and today we're going to talk about the countries with no property tax. So I want you guys to really ask yourselves what it really means to own something. Do you really own something if you have to make regular payments to keep it? And I think the answer is no. I think if you really own something and someone takes it away from you, then it's stealing. But if you own property in most countries these days and you don't pay your regular property tax payments, then the government can take it from you and it's not considered stealing. And I think this is, this means that you don't really own your property because you're basically renting your property from the government. You have to pay your regular payments and if you don't, you lose it. So you don't really own it. And I think this is similar to paying tribute back in the day when you got conquered by a conqueror you have to sometimes pay tribute to keep your property, keep your city, and if you don't, they'll take it away from you. And you're allowed to say that you own your property, you own your city or whatever, but really they own it because they can take it away from you if you don't oblige with their conditions. So they just allow you to say you own it for your own dignity, but you don't really own it. And I think this is similar to criminal extortion in some way, because in some neighborhoods, in some cities, and some countries, criminals go around the neighborhood and tell people to make regular payments to keep their stores, or they tell them we're going to protect your store, protect your home, and if you don't pay up, sometimes they just ransack your home and ransack your store take your property, take your stuff, steal from you. And yeah, it's sort of like that. It's not as extreme when the government does it or actually the government makes it look like it's not that extreme, not that violent, but it really is because you're basically renting your property from the government and you can lose it when you don't have the money to make regular payments. So. And that is why I think this topic is very important because I want my viewers to really own the property they have, they invest in, and when they do invest, I don't want them to invest in a property that is a sort of liability that drains your cash because of regular payments for property taxes. And when you think about what's an asset and what's a liability, assets are things that increase your cash flow and liabilities are things that drain your cash and when you're buying property from a country with property taxes it's a drain on your cash if you're not using it to make money so anyway let's talk about the countries that do not have property taxes and before i go on with the list i want to discuss the countries that almost made the list but didn't so the first country that almost made the list but did not is Croatia. So Croatia actually does not have a property tax on homes used for permanent living. But if you're an investor and you don't live in Croatia, then if you buy a holiday home, for example, there is a property tax. And basically there are property taxes on properties that are not used for permanent living. So if you are a Croatian and you live in Croatia, then that's great. You don't have to pay property taxes, but for everyone else investing in property in Croatia, unless you plan to live in it permanently, you have to pay property tax. So that's why it almost made the list, but did not make the list at the end of the day. Another country that almost made the list is Georgia, which is a country in the Caucasus that actually has a lot of very business friendly uh, policies and laws. So Georgia does not have a property tax if you make below 40,000 lari, but if you do make above 40,000 lari, you pay a property tax of up to 1%. And if you own a business or a corporation and you invest in property in Croatia through that business or corporation, then you pay a property tax of 1%. So it is a very low property tax, which is why I would say it almost made the list. And compared to most countries around the world, it is a very good option. However, 
I want this list to purely be made of countries that truly do not have a property tax. So unfortunately, Georgia did not make the list, but you should still know about it because it is a good option compared to most countries. Moving on, we have Norfolk Island, which almost made the list, but unfortunately it didn't because recently it introduced a property tax or Australia introduced a property tax for them. So if you don't know what, or if you don't know where Norfolk Island is, it's in Oceania near Australia and New Zealand, and it is a territory of Australia. It used to be an autonomous territory back in 2015 and when it was autonomous it did not have a property tax so when you go researching online and looking for countries that don't have property taxes you might see Norfolk Island on that list because that article might be outdated it might be from a few years ago but in 2015 the Australian government ended the autonomy of Norfolk Island and introduced property taxes so it is no longer a territory with no property taxes. Let's move on to the Indian Ocean and another country that almost made the list is Seychelles. Recently it also did not have property taxes but since 2020 the government of Seychelles introduced a 0.25% property tax for non-Seychelles citizens which is extremely low and I included it in this list because you probably want to know about it because of its extremely low property tax rate so it is still a pretty good option compared to most countries but unfortunately it is not a country that truly does not have property taxes unless you are a citizen of Seychelles then you don't have to pay property taxes so now let's talk about the pure non-property tax countries that really allow you to own your property. And we will discuss this by region. So the first region we'll discuss is Europe. And the countries or territories that don't have property taxes in Europe are the Faroe Islands, which is a territory of Denmark. Liechtenstein, which is a very small state in Europe, Malta, the island country, and Monaco. Moving on to the Caribbean, and I am aware that the American pronunciation is Caribbean, but I prefer the British pronunciation because that was the pronunciation used in the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, and that's what I grew up with, so I'm going to use the British pronunciation. But getting back to topic, in the Caribbean, the countries with no property taxes are the Cayman Islands, Dominica, although in Dominica if you buy property in certain localities like Canefield and Rousseau, you do have to pay a municipal tax which is basically a property tax, but for most parts of the country you don't pay a property tax. And Turks and Caicos. Now let's move on to the tropical island countries of Oceania. The countries with no property taxes in Oceania are the Cook Islands, Fiji, although in Fiji it depends because if you do buy freehold land you don't pay property taxes. Freehold land are specifically country or land that is free for you to hold and you're not liable for property taxes. However, if you do buy land in other areas, then you might be charged a municipal tax, which is basically a property tax. So you should pay attention to where you buy land in Fiji and what type of land it is. Also, Palau in Oceania also does not have a property tax. Now let's move on to the Indian Ocean and the country that does not have a property tax there is Sri Lanka. And finally, the last region that do not have property taxes or have countries that don't have property taxes is the Middle East. And the countries that don't have property taxes in the Middle East are Bahrain, Kuwait, although there are restrictions on 
foreigners owning property in Kuwait, Oman, Qatar, Saudi Arabia. But for Saudi Arabia, there are restrictions on foreigners owning property in the holy cities of Mecca and Medina. And finally, the United Arab Emirates, which is where Dubai is located. So which country should you choose for buying property and really owning your property and not having to make regular payments to keep it? So it really depends on your individual tastes, your individual situation. I would say if you look at the regions that have countries that don't have property taxes, some regions that are very dominant in the global economy like East Asia and North America are missing. But if you are looking for a prominent business center, I would say that Dubai in the United Arab Emirates is a very good option. It's a very prominent business center and it does not have property taxes. So if that's what you're looking for, a business center that doesn't have property taxes, then Dubai is the best option. However, in this day and age with modern technology, a lot of people work remotely. A lot of people can work from their laptops and not really have to be in an office. So if you look at the countries that don't have property taxes, a lot of them are tropical countries in the Caribbean, in Oceania, in the Indian Ocean, which have beautiful islands, beautiful landscapes, beautiful beaches, beautiful weather, and they're just great to be in. So you should look around those countries if you do have the ability to work remotely or if you own businesses and don't really have to be there in person to manage them. And I would say that for me, I think the Cayman Islands is a great option because the Cayman Islands is very reliably pro-business, free enterprise friendly, and it's one of the most consistent countries in protecting property rights. If you look at the tax havens in the world, the most business friendly countries in the world, the Cayman Islands is one of them. It has very friendly tax laws, it has low taxes, very friendly to business in general, and that's why a lot of people go there to set up their offshore operations because they can benefit from the business friendly laws of the Cayman Islands. And because of that, it's actually a quite developed country. There are many good amenities there because of so many people going there and developing the countries. A lot of wealthy people spending money on the country because they want to take advantage of the business friendly laws of the Cayman Islands and this really helped the economy and the country there. So it's pretty well developed and that's why I think it's a good option but most importantly it's very reliable and consistent in protecting property rights and very business friendly in general. So that's why I think it's such a good option. But anyway, in conclusion I would have to add that the world is dynamic, things change, countries that are on the list now may not be on the list in the future, they might introduce a property tax. And countries that are not on the list now may be on the list in the future because they might abolish property taxes. So when you do buy property, make sure to research the up-to-date information because things change and you need to be up-to-date on this when you do invest in property. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did enjoy it and found it helpful, give it a like and comment your thoughts and comment on what you want me to discuss next because I'm here to help you guys succeed in business, in your finances, and in life in general. Make sure to subscribe for more helpful content and because it helps me with the algorithm so we can spread the message which is important. And I'll see you guys in the next video.